Hello everyone, my name is Greg, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a large monster truck. This monster truck is the first vehicle in the vehicle playlist, and I can't wait to show you more builds like this one. This truck features large tires that are 3 blocks tall and 3 blocks wide. It also features a reinforced frame underneath and a solid cab. Also, you can change the color of your truck by changing the material you make the cab out of, such as there's many color options shown here. This build is broken down into 6 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, here's a quick little side note. This truck is roughly 8 by 10 blocks wide, and it is 8 blocks tall. And here's a complete list of materials you'll need to build this truck. Step 1. First, let's create the tires. We'll need 68 black wool blocks and 4 stone buttons. Start by laying out a 3 wide row of black wool. Then make the tire 3 blocks tall. Then move over 5 spaces. And make another 3 wide by 3 tall block of black wool. And make sure there's 4 empty spaces in between the tires. Next, at the end of the tire, move back 5 spaces and make a 3 wide by 3 tall block. And again, make sure there's 4 empty spaces in between the ends of the tires. And then next we can make the last tire. And make sure this lines up with the other rear tire. Then we can add a stone button in the center of the tires. And do this for all four tires. Next, let's add a ring of black wool around the stone buttons. And we can repeat this for all four tires. Step 2. Next, let's work on the main frame section of the truck. We'll need 48 stone slabs for this step. First, let's add a stone slab to the top half of the third center wool block. Then connect across to the other side. Then let's carry this all the way back to the center of the tires. Next we can install slabs underneath. From the front of the truck, move over to the second stone slab, and then move back to the third stone slab. Attach an extra slab on the third one, then attach three more after that. Then we can make another row of four right next to it. And then we can head back up top. And let's add stone slabs on the sides. And then we can add stone slabs in between the tires over here as well. Step 3. Next let's work on the subframe of the truck. We'll need 20 iron bars for this step. At the back wheels, attach iron bars to the center of the back wheels and carry across to the other tire. This will make the rear axle. Then on the two center bars, we can attach more iron bars and carry to the front. And then once here, we can add another row of iron bars and connect this to the other front wheel. Step 4. 
Next, let's make the cab of the truck. We will need 32 blue wool. We will need 32 blue wool blocks for this step and two iron doors. Now, if you want your truck to be a different color, use a different color wool. For example, red wool, yellow wool, green wool, black, gray, and so on. First, let's install one row of wool on top of the stone slabs. Then we can install a second row behind that. Then we can install a third row behind that. And then next, we can install iron doors on the sides. Then repeat on the other side and install an iron door over here as well. Next, add a row of wool behind the doors. And now we can install three single wool blocks behind the others. Then we can repeat on the other side, installing three blocks one behind the others. Next, let's make a row on top of this row. Then we can make another row on top of that. And then one off the front. Then lastly, head around to the back of the truck and remove the two center wool blocks. Step five, next is install buttons, as well as a windshield, carpet, and radiator grill. We will need four stone buttons, four glass blocks, two glass panes, six blue carpet, eight red carpet, eight white carpet, and two ladders. First, let's start by installing the stone buttons. These buttons will help operate the iron doors. You could also use levers instead of the buttons if you prefer. Place one on the outside, as well as one on the inside. And this will help open the doors once inside. Then another one on the other side. And then one more on the outside of the door. Next is install the windshield. Use clear glass blocks and place four blocks down. Then add glass panes on the sides. And these will help add the effect of mirrors. Next is add carpet on top of the windshield. And we can also add carpet on top of the hood. Next, we can add ladders in the front, and this will look like a radiator grill. Also, we can add carpet on top of the roof. Step six. Next, we can also add in some extra bonuses, such as a tailgate if you would like. And to install this tailgate, we will need two cobblestone wall sections. And since this truck is high off the ground, we can also add in a ladder. This ladder will help make access to the truck much easier. Also, another bonus we can add is a flagpole. Place four cobblestone wall sections in the back corner. Then we can add white and red banners around the cobblestone wall sections. And you can add any color banners you prefer, and whichever matches your truck color the best. Also, with the flag in the back, it kind of makes the truck look like a remote can control car. However, it's completely up to you if you'd like to keep it or not. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way, you'll be informed right when I upload the next video. Thanks again guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.